Welcome to iPoint, the data management solution and visualization suite for data managers and end-user geoscientists. The VisPoint and iMind modules allow geoscientists to access their data, quickly scaling from high-level overviews to detailed views and visualize it at multiple scales simultaneously. In iMind, all data is stored together in its various types and can even be accessed in other databases. Navigate to the required data through our index trees. The Dataset Explorer displays a summary of the dataset. The Conventional Core Analysis, or CCA dataset, has a default crossplot which is also displayed. The Explorer gives general information, statistics and quality control scores for the dataset and any documents which have been added for that dataset can be accessed here or directly from the index tree. This allows our level of understanding to begin at the data acquisition and processing level, minimizing uncertainty of the data quality. iMine allows very rapid navigation through masses of diverse data to find the exact detailed data you require. I want to find out which of the wells in my project have the most CCA data associated with them. Before, I navigated through the index tree to find the CCA data for a specific well. Because I want to access this dataset relating to all wells, I can reconfigure the index tree to streamline the process by asking for the dataset name to appear at a level above the well name and removing levels I do not need. I can also apply a filter to further narrow down and tidy up my index tree. And now I can quickly access all the wells with CCA data. To find the most data rich wells, I'm going to send them to an ArcGIS map view and bin the wells by size based on the number of CCA samples found within. We can now see which wells have the most data coverage and focus on these for preliminary study. To scrutinize these further, I will select them and send them to a matrix view. and navigate through the datasets to find the curves I'm looking for. Here I can see which curves are lacking for which wells and easily identify the wells that require further processing. To view trends in the wells, I can create statistics, cross plots and other charts by selecting which curve relationships I'm interested in and accessing the tools I need through the right-click menu. They are then displayed in the multi-well crossplot. Here you can apply regressions or add wells by dragging and dropping for comparison. And the points can be further binned and the bin distribution viewed to inform further analysis. Apply interpolations to bins where necessary. The bin distribution will show which formation has the most samples. At this point in the project we are especially interested in the F3 formation. I can apply a filter to the curve matrix to show which wells contain data from this formation. The matrix legend shows that wells AO1 and AO2 are the only ones containing CCA data in the formation of interest. iMine contains several export options for various objects. The matrix view can be exported as an image, or copied, or export the table to an external location. Quality control options are also available here. Datasets themselves can be exported either in single files or as collated files allowing several wells data to be exported at once in several industry standard formats in an organized fashion. Now that I have a firm understanding of my data distribution, I can focus on key wells to gain a fuller understanding of what the data is telling me. From iMine, we can select our two most data-rich wells on our ArcGIS map, 
which are also the ones which contain the formation we are interested in, and open them in a layout in VizPoint directly. VizPoint will open each well in the same layout, contained within separate canvases. The VizPoint layout displays all of your data together simultaneously, including core photos, raster logs and cross plots which are linked to sample depths. Scales can be changed to optimize the visualization of each kind of data. Overlays can be loaded to indicate sample points. The datasets explorer seen in iMine can be opened directly from these points, and attached documents or external source data such as websites can also be accessed from here. The crossplot points are live linked to the tabular data below, and also to the corresponding views in the explorer. In this way, we can see that an outlier in the chart with higher horizontal permeability is likely due to fractures induced during the sampling process, showing this point may not be reliable. Quality control features also allow individual points to be scrutinized within the dataset explorer. The curve header quality is displayed in a traffic light system to highlight potential errors. The header QC will also highlight where points fall out with the standard limits for that curve. By jumping to this point in the explorer, the track will also jump to the same point. The tabular data tells us the grain density of this sample is higher than the standard limits for that curve. The zoom box allows investigation as to what may be causing this anomaly. We can see that there is pyrite here, which could explain the abnormally high grain density shown in the crossplot, and so the data would appear to be accurate just influenced by heavy minerals. iPoint offers a range of interpretation tools to add value to your data. For example, we can add discrete points to indicate areas where these heavy minerals occur. Placing these points, or using other interpretation tools, creates a new dataset which can be saved, exported and shared. I want to make sure that my log responses truly reflect the core responses or if there are features below log resolution. Before I do this, I need to make sure that the core data is properly shifted to the log data. Another of the interpretation tools is an interactive shift creation tool which allows you to visualize your shifting data. Once satisfied the data is appropriately shifted, I can save the interactive shift to apply to my layouts. I now want to see why the formation of interest is less sampled in other wells than well A01. To do this, I will create a well correlation view to compare several wells at once. I can quickly go back to iMine to check which wells would be beneficial to view. and use the well correlation tool and correlation wizard to correlate the formation tops across the wells. We can see that the F3 formation has only been cored and sampled in wells A01 and A02 and does not appear in A10. While it is present and cored in well A07, it has not been sampled. In well A06 we can see that the F3 formation has not been cored as it is not the interval of interest. This information can be used for future well location plans. To facilitate collaboration between teams and disciplines, 
Layouts, including the interpretations that have been made, can be saved and shared with other users by simply making it public so that all users may view and contribute to the interpretations being made. You can also export it to an external location for distribution. Now we have seen how iPoint can enable you to scrutinize your data from a high to detailed level and how you can not only visualize it but interpret it to maximize the value of your existing data.